It's a beautiful day here in New York City and we are gonna go on a scavenger hunt. So stay tuned. Robin, what's the deal with this scavenger hunt? You're the one who set this thing up. Well, I have this app, it's called Let's Roam. And they have scavenger hunts in all different cities. And they have some here in New York City. And uh, we're gonna do the one that's in Lower Manhattan. Lower Manhattan, here we come. Because we live in Upper Manhattan, Upper West Side, we actually have to uh, take a train. So we'll do that and then we'll show you the scavenger hunt. Forgot to mention we have a guest star today. Snickers, our dog, will be joining us on this scavenger hunt. The start of this scavenger hunt is lower Manhattan. And what's the first clue? Find the city hall built in 1811. It is the oldest city hall in the country. This area is known as the Civic Center as almost every building within sight serves some municipal function. City hall itself hasn't grown, but New York City grew five times bigger overnight when all the boroughs consolidated in 1898, setting up the headquarters here. We're gonna go looking for the city hall. There's a lot of big buildings here, so it's gotta be one of these, I'm assuming. We found City Hall, it's right behind us. So what's the next clue, Robin? The City Hall on your left shoulder, walk north up Center Street and you'll find the statue of a man enjoying a nice sink. It's the founder of the New York Tribune. Rearranging some of the letters in the founder's name, you can spell what word, and well, we have to find it. Let's figure out that word. So let's go. Pass the statue. Now we gotta figure out what word to spell from his name. Looks like the secret word is legacy. So being the founder of the New York Tribune, he did in fact set up his legacy. So they also have some challenges. So one of the things we're looking for is a lady statue with two objects in her hand around City Hall. And we're gonna find out what those two objects are. Some interesting sculptures here at City Hall. We couldn't find the other statue. We found some other cool things here, but we're gonna move on to the next clue then. So look, Robin, what's the next look clue? Look for then? Foley Square named after 19th century area leader and saloon owner, Big Tom Foley. Foley Square was once the site of Little Collect Pond, the bigger Collect Pond than just a bit north of here. The old ponds were the city's fresh water supply, but became contaminated with waste as the city grew. Wow. Interesting. By the way, the name of the app that we're using is called Let's Roam, and it actually has scavenger hunts all over the, the world. So we're just doing this one here in New York City, but you can, if you do ever want to try it, you can get the app and it'll definitely have scavenger hunts probably about where, where you are too. There's a lot of police here, as you can see, in front of the courtroom. I guess because Trump is there, so. Everything is just kind of closed off over there. We gotta cross the street. You see all the cameras just waiting for Trump to leave. So I'm not sure he's gonna leave, but we're not gonna stick around. But they're waiting, they're gonna stick around. All right, in front of me is the next clue. Or should I say what we're supposed to find from the clue. So this was actually a water source at one point in New York City. This is also dedicated to all the enslaved African-Americans when they were brought over here. All right, Robin, what's the next clue here? Search for Columbus Park, Chinatown's most tranquil getaway. This park has become a gathering place for the Chinese community. There's Tai Chi in the early mornings and Mahjong every hour of the day. Interesting. Cool band out here. See everything.
is actually a burial ground for slaves, and they found this in 1991 when they were going to build the building. They didn't build it, and they made a memorial here for them. We are in Chinatown. All right, we found it. This is the Columbus Park Playground. What do you think, Robin? Well, they said people played Mahjong all day long. I don't see anyone playing Mahjong. Looks like a lot of kids, though, out here having fun. Still have all these news people out here waiting for Trump, I guess. And there's the people playing Mahjong. So they do play Mahjong here. All right, on to the next location. Where are we going next? Namwa Tea Parlor. It's uh, one of New York's most uh, famous little streets, and there's a street park. Oh, do they have food? Oh my <laughs> All right, we found the tea parlor on this nice little street. This is a cool little street. What do you think? Yeah. All right, so the next stop is Bowery Savings Bank. Uh, the Bowery neighborhood gets its name from an anglicized version of the Dutch word for. Bar and reaching back to those new Amsterdam views that we see. Oh, sounds cool. These look like some pretty scary bars right here. Yep, this is typical in New York. There's a Supreme store, you can see the line. Honestly, to tell you the truth, I'm actually surprised that Supreme is still popular, to tell you the truth. You know, you think that would have faded out a long time ago. It's like Worthless stuff for for expensive prices. I don't know why anyone would buy it. But if you want to stand in line and buy something that's not worth that much, go go for it. So we punted on the rest of this scavenger hunt because we found other things to do. And that's the one thing that's kind of cool about doing a scavenger hunt in a city is you find other things that... Uh, you didn't know we were there because you might not have gone in that area, but the scavenger hunt brought you there. And since you were there, you, you found other things. And we're kind of wandering right now, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. So what did you think of the... Well, it was fun. It got us out to do something different. Yeah, it's a beautiful day out. And, you know, it's October, so it's kind of nice to actually have an 80-degree day in New York in October. And it's beautiful out, and we're just just taking advantage of it. So this is a rice pudding place. I just thought this was kind of funny. You got your Weight Watchers right here. I don't think much of Weight Watchers. I don't think you do a great job of actually helping you lose weight. You do a great job of helping people lose weight, but it's just kind of funny they put that sign up there. There's some more of these. Kind of funny. Alright, this brings this video to a close. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if any other cool things to do, there are other suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And make sure you share the video with people who can use healthy living videos like this. And I will see you all next time.